Hello, everybody, and welcome to an episode today. What are we talking about today in this episode? Well, this is an episode on topping, okay? A lot of people are wondering, or they hear the term topping a lot. A lot of people have been asking, why haven't you topped your plants? Well, one, because I don't do that right away. I like my plants to get to a certain height before I top. Now, there's two different things. One, there's topping. Then there's something kind of similar called fimming. As far as the lore goes, fimming stands, go, stands for fuck, I missed. Which, what does that mean? So basically, in, in the concept of topping, okay, let's talk about this for a second here. Where's a good candidate? This one here is probably a good one, actually. So if you look here, okay, see how there's a top there? We're going to remove that whole top node off. That's topping. When topping, what is that doing? That is triggering this plant to then put energy into its lower side branches while that top regenerates, okay? Thimming, or in other words, oh fuck, I missed, is where you hit it a little bit too high. So you miss that node and leave part of that node. That node is then going to explode with two tops rather than a singular. Now, both are legitimate techniques and have their uses. One thing to remember when uh, fimming, okay, is you're going to need a greater amount of structural support for your plants, where if you're just straight up topping, okay, then your plants are going to bush the fuck up. Another way of doing it, if you don't want to cut that whole top part off, is you can actually snap it. And then that'll have the same effect on your secondary branches while leaving that top to come back up. So, where are my snips? I'm always doing this. I'm starting videos, and I don't got everything here I need. Well, let's see here. Ah, well, we can just use these scissors if we want. So, where am I going to top first? Well, this one definitely here is a prime candidate, right? Because you see, she's quite tall and lanky and doing her thing. So, again, this is always where it's hard. I, it's hard to shoot this shit while I'm doing this. Um, maybe there's an easier one to top right now. Or maybe I can, if I just pay attention to where my scissors are going. Okay, so you see how I'm right now, I'm below the node. Try to make it focus, there we go. I'm below the node, and I'm just taking that whole top off. So let me show you this top that we've just removed here. So, this is the top. See, we've gone below the node and gone below the node by a bit. That has now left us with that cut top on the top of the plant. Now that is signifying to these lower segmentary branches here for the plant to focus its energy on growing those side branches. It's kind of a self-defense mechanism in terms of the plant. If you're wondering about all the white shit on our leaves, it's all the diatomaceous earth that we put down yesterday. Diatomaceous earth is a great uh, preventative measure um, because, one, I did see one or two little fungus gnats floating around. I live in the bush. It, it happens. I mean, there's bugs everywhere. So one of the things when you're growing, especially in an in a, in a earthen environment, shall we say, um, you're going to want to come in through and uh, do preventative stuff. Spraying things down, they're all natural, that'll help deter pests. Putting down diatomaceous earth, so for example with the fungus gnat, it's not going to attack the adults per se, but when the larvae and the eggs, when the eggs hatch and the larvae come out, they're going to get shredded by the diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth is a ground up, basically single celled amoebas from like six million years ago. Um, chemically speaking, it's basically silica. That's what it is. So we've topped that one plant here. We've topped her. Let's see, do we have any other prime candidates for topping? Mmm. This girl looks like she could do with the top. So let's grab our snips here. And we're gonna get in there. And we're gonna top her too. So. Okay, so first I'm gonna get my scissors in position. Okay, now you see that? And then, boop, and we're taking that top right off. She's now been topped, and this is going to help trigger her secondaries all to develop. Now the question is, where the hell did that top go? There it is. Let's show it to you here. See, we've taken it down and taken that top off. 
You can top multiple times if you want to. Um, in this early stage of vegetation where we're at right now, you're not going to worry about doing anything more than a single top. Some of these have come out fairly bushy naturally with a lot of tops of their own. So for now, we're going to leave a lot of those. This girl's kind of in between, but still we're going to come through and we're going to top. So let me get my scissors placed. There we go. See there? Focus. Focus. And boop. Moving that top. We've now just topped this cannabis plant. And that's going to help her develop better, faster, stronger, harder in terms of her secondary branches. So this is telling the plant, throw these bitches out. That's what we're doing right there. This one's definitely a prime candidate as well for topping. So we're going to come in here. I'm going to place my scissors first. Bear with me here. Where's the actual natural top on this? That'll be her there. And you see, we're gonna go boom. And we're gonna cut that down. Now anyway, my friends, I will call this person back, one second. Someone was just quickly calling me there. So as you can see though, we've now cut the top off and she's been topped. We'll show you the top we've removed. That top has been removed. Focus, you piece of crap. Fucking technology, man. I'm just trying to teach people things. There we go. See how we've removed that whole top? A lot of people might say it seems counterintuitive to be doing this to your plants, but it has a purpose. We are manipulating the plant's natural self-defense mechanisms in terms of the way it's built and made and ready to go. By removing this top, we are triggering it to send signals and redistribute its uh, hormones that are causing vegetation and aggressive growth to other segments on the plant. Let's get in here, because why not? Let's top this one too. This one, since she's already kind of bushy, I'm gonna top her quite intensely. So you see that one there? See that? Boop! Oh my God! See that? Perfect and ready to rock. So we're gonna keep that, or we're gonna throw all that crap out. You know what I'm saying? But that is the concept behind topping. I'm not actually gonna fim any of my plants because I don't like fimming in terms of the way it kind of weakens the top strength of the plant. I'm more, of a, I'm more into topping than I am into fimming. But if we were to fim for something, let's see if we can find one here where we can explain it. Uh, so, if you go through here, and instead of taking that whole node out, like maybe here, you're going to crawl across the node here, leaving the bottom parts of this growth here. Then that is actually going to trigger it to grow into two tops. I'm not, a, I'm not really into fimming, but I do enjoy topping when I have to. Um, to do this in a high stress motif, you would take this and just snap it, not all the way through, and then you can bind that top with a rolling paper like a band-aid. And that is gonna also work for you. Basically put though, this is what the premise and concept behind topping is. And topping is a very positive thing. As you can see, these little girls are bouncing back. They will be pruned and topped in the next week or so. Um, I got a number of other plants that are gonna come through and top these here, but I think the video's been long enough. We've talked enough about what topping is. So anyway, everybody, thanks for tuning in. I hope this video helped, and I hope it helped you understand the concept behind topping. And at least we talked on the theory of fimming rather than actually doing it. But anyway, my friends, we will talk to you soon. This is Uncle Potsquatch saying, don't be afraid to take risks. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Rock and roll, and I'll see you soon. I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Peace.